Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing great, great with your studies and finally the res uh, results are also near. Bohadi jald results aane wale hain aap ke. Final ke results to bhai bas do din dur hai. On 13th aur inter ke results ki baat karun to wo bhi bhai zyada dur nahi hai to bohadi jald aane wale hain. Aur jo bache December mein appear kar rahe hain to unke liye bhi ye dates bohat zaruri ho jati hai. Kyu sir unke liye kyu zaruri hai unka to result nahi aara. Definitely, उनका result नहीं है, लेकिन उनके लिए ये date इसलिए जरूरी है कि क्योंकि ये date एक alarm की तरह है उनके लिए, क्योंकि सर अगर December में appear करोगे तो approximately February के आसपास आपके results आएंगे, तो एक दिन आप भी इसी position में होने वाले हो। तो ये alarm है आप लोगों के लिए कि अभी से हम लोगों को बहुत ही अच्छे से पढ़ाई करनी है, serious हो जाना है अपनी पढ़ाई को लेकर और जो भी कर रहे हो बहुत अच्छे से करना है टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना हम लोगों को तो चीजों को लेकर आप लोगों को सीरियस होना जरूरी है तो जब भी रिजल्ट आए ना उसको एक तरह से एक अलार्म की तरह लेना कि भाई घंटी बज गई अलार्म बज गया नाउ वी हैव टू बी सीरियस अबाउट आवर स्टडीज वी हैव टू डू इट वेरी सीरियसली ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द आरटीपी दिसंबर 2021 सीरीज और हमारे पास है क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 दैट इज कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम्स Let's see a very well framed question. बहुत ही अच्छा question है, बहुत अच्छे से frame किया गया question है institute के द्वारा. Let's read. X Y Z Limited maintains a non-integrated accounting system for the purpose of management information. The following are the data are uh, related with the year 2021. So you are given a certain data. Opening balances are given for the SLC account that is Stores Ledger Control Account, then Work in Process Control Account, then Finished Goods Control Account, Building Construction Account, and Cost Ledger Control Account, right? So basically, if opening balances are given, the Stores Ledger Control Account ka balance kaun sa hoga? Debit hoga ya credit hoga? Obviously, sir, debit balance hoga. Work in progress ka kaun sa hoga? Debit balance hoga. Finished goods ka debit balance hoga. Building construction ka debit balance hoga. CLC ka aap logon ka credit balance hoga. Right, so you need to be very much clear with this ki kaun si cheez ka kaun sa balance hoga, whether it will be a debit balance or a credit balance, right. So SLC will have a debit, WIP will have a debit, finished goods will have a debit, building construction will have a debit and cost ledger will have a credit balance. And there is a possibility that in the exams you might be given the proper balances in the debit and credit form, right. That this account is having a debit balance and this account is having a credit balance, so you can be given like the, that also. During the year, following transactions took place. So there is certain transactions related to material, wages, then factory overheads. Uh, then you are given royalty paid, selling and distribution, administration overheads, and you are given the value of sales. At the end of the year, the stock of raw material and WIP is 1 crore 65 lakh and 75 lakh. That is, this is the closing balance given to you. Opening balances are given and the closing balances for raw material and WIP are given for none else. Right, closing balances are given only and only for the raw material and WIP. The loss arising in the raw material account is treated as factory overheads. Right, he says that whatever is the loss arising in the raw material account, raw material, which is the raw material account? Can you tell me out of the above accounts, which is the raw material account, sir? Only one and one account that is SLC account. Right. So he is giving a big hint to you in the question that there is a loss that uh, will be there in the SLC account and it is to be treated as factory overheads. The building under construction was completed during the year. Gross profit margin is 20% on sales. Right. So that means if sales is 100 rupees, your cost of goods sold will be cost of sales will be cost of sales cost of sales will be how much 80 rupees right because 20 percent is the profit margin he says prepare the relevant control accounts to record the above transactions in the cost ledger of the company now he is asking you to prepare the relevant accounts now in this question it is not specifically given which accounts are to be prepared just written prepare the relevant accounts so which accounts are relevant so you have to prepare slc account WIP account, finished goods account, building construction account, cost ledger control account, right? Uh, then you will get overheads account, factory overheads account, you will get wages account, you will have to prepare, royalty account, you will have to prepare, 
sales account is given that means you will be preparing the cost of sales account costing p and l account selling distribution account will be there right so all these accounts you will have to be prepare if we look at from the examination point of view it is a very lengthy question right because you will have to prepare a number of accounts now the best way of doing the cost accounting system non integrated question is that you prepare whatever you uh, the accounts you and you are able to understand at the very beginning prepare the format of all the accounts right what i am saying is prepare the format of all the accounts in advance keep 6 to 7 lines for all the accounts except for the cost ledger control account keep more lines there right number of lines uh, to be kept 6 to 7 lines for each account except for clc account in the clc account the number of entries can be more so prepare either the clc account in the end keep more space for the clc account prepare all the formats whatever account you uh, you are able to understand from the question prepare all the accounts after that start posting the entries one by one like you are given the opening balances so start writing the opening balances right stores ledger control account so what they have done is prepared all the accounts stores ledger control account balance brought down 24000 uh, then uh, factory overheads royalty account wip opening balance is given to you finished goods opening balance given to you right and uh, similarly for which uh, building construction account is given to you clc credit balance is given to you where is clc account at the very beginning balance brought down 162000 so start posting one by one after that right and for posting what you should be clear with is the journal entries journal entries aap logo ko acche se aani chahiye ekdam se transaction ko padhte hi aapke mind mein journal entry frame ho jani chahiye aur yahi hum log yahan karne wale hain क्या हम लोग जर्नल एंट्री लिखेंगे सर यहाँ पर पोस्टिंग तो क्या है सर जर्नल एंट्री आती है तो लेजर पोस्टिंग आप लोग कर ही लोगे इफ द जर्नल एंट्री इज क्लियर यू कैन इजीली डू द लेजर पोस्टिंग राइट दैट इज अ किड्स जॉब इज एंट इट सो विल डिस्कस ऑन द वेरियस मैटर्स इन द पोस्टिंग ऑल्सो बट फर्स्ट वट एवर इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इज गिवन टू अस वी आर गोइंग टू राइट दैट राइट वी आर गोइंग टू डू द जर्नल एंट्रीज एंड वट यू पीपल विल डू इज यू पीपल हैव द आर टीपीज विद यू i will do the journal entries and you will see the same impact being given in the respective accounts or not by the ici right this is your job to do it side by side just listen to the journal entry understand the transaction and see the impact of transaction in the various ledger accounts whether the two ledger accounts which we are going to take up in the journal entries whether those are being impacted or not okay now let's talk about material first material purchased 12000 right what is the entry for the purchase of material can you tell me what is the entry for purchase of material sir very simple your stores will increase so the entry will be slc account debit to which account clc account any doubt now check the slc account and check the clc account for this impact of 12000 that is material that we have purchased right i'll show you one impact see 12000 here stores ledger control account and here cost ledger control account 12000 the same impact given in the accounts so that is why i always say the journal entry should be clear to you people if you know the journal entries then you can easily post all the entries and prepare the ledger accounts then that is a very easy job next issue to production what is the general entry for issue to production wip account debit to slc account <coughs> any doubt wip to slc 15000 now check the respective accounts check the wip account check the slc account whether the same impact has been given or not right issue to general maintenance if it is a general maintenance it will be my factory overheads factory overheads control account debit to slc account issued to building construction now be careful with the building construction you have a separate account for building construction okay so you will write it as building construction account debit to slc account now what you have to do is check the respective accounts whether the same treatment has been given or not 
now let's come to wages gross wages paid now what is this this is the total wages that you have actually paid what will be the financial entry for the wages paid i'm not asking about the costing entry what i'm saying is tell me the financial entry for the wages paid financial entry is wages to cash right but here in case of cost accounting records we cannot use the cash what we are going to do is we are going to post it as wages account debit to clc account any doubt this is the total wages that you have paid now this wages include your indirect wages also and this include your direct wages also this include the wages for any other thing also right this is the total money that has flown out of your pocket right now out of this he says indirect wages are 12000 now where will you take the indirect wages where will you take the indirect wages sir factory overheads control account debit to wages right and there are wages for the building construction so you will write building construction account debit to wages right so what does it mean try to understand it sir out of 45000 rupees what he is saying is, sir, tot 45,000 is the total wages that you have paid. This is the total wages. Right? Out of this 45,000, he has bifurcated that 12,000 is uh, indirect wages. 12,000 is your indirect wages. Right? Then 3,000 is for building construction. What is remaining? Remaining 30,000, sir. What about this remaining 30,000? Out of 45,000, 12,000 indirect wages, 3,000 building construction. What about the remaining 30,000? Sir, remaining 30,000 is your direct wages. This remaining 30,000 is your direct wages. Right? And where will you take the direct wages? Direct wages will be taken to WIP. WIP account debit to wages account. Any doubts up till this point? Right? So that is why at the very beginning I told you this question is very beautifully framed. Why it is beautifully framed? Because of these hidden informations that is given. Right? And there are high chances that you are going to miss out on these hidden informations that 30,000 is your direct wages. What you will do? You will treat what is given but you will not see what is not given. What is hidden information that is where the institutes, uh, institute wants to test you institute wants to see that how much is your conceptual clarity and how much you have practiced that is why these things these small things are important to understand right now coming to factory overheads actual amount incurred excluding the items shown above what is meant by this item shown above sir excluding whatever is the factory overheads like this is the factory overheads right like this is the factory overhead so he says excluding these items there is another expenditure of 48,000 now this is the amount that you have paid right so entry for this will be factory overheads control to CLC any doubt in this entry now he says out of this what is absorbed in the building construction is only 6,000 rupees right what is absorbed in the building construction is 6000 rupees so your entry will be building construction account debit to factory overheads account any doubt now there is an under absorption of 2400 there is an under absorption of 2400 sir what will be that now this under absorption can be what can be due to any reason is the reason given to you whether it is due to the normal reason or whether it is due to the abnormal reason it is your loss isn't it your loss isn't it your loss sir definitely under absorption is your loss right so this loss if nothing is given what you will take it is due to the abnormal reasons it is due to the abnormal reasons and the whole amount of this under absorption will be taken to where this will be taken to costing profit and loss account costing profit and loss account any doubts right sir 
देन रॉयल्टी पेड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सर डेफिनेटली रॉयल्टी टू सी एल सी सेलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपेंसेस एक्सपेंसेस टू सी एल सी राइट आफ्टर दीज एक्सपेंसेज विल ट्रांसफर इट टू कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स राइट देन इट इज सेल्स सेल्स टू सी एल सी सर देन विल बुक द प्रॉफिट ऑल्सो थ्रू कॉस्टिंग पी एंड एल अकाउंट then you are given the closing balances of work in progress and the stock of raw material right and the gross profit margin is given to you now let's see the entries any other uh, special entries that we have to see first come to stores ledger control account balance brought down is given to you in now this is given in this question carry down is also given the closing balance is also given that means if there is any balancing figure it will be something else right this is from the journal entry that we have done it is from the journal entry from journal entry from journal entry now there is a balancing figure of 1200 what does this balancing figure means sir the question itself has says that any loss arising in the raw material account is to be treated as factory overheads then that means there will be a loss and this 1200 is nothing but the loss right the factory overheads control account balancing figure that is a loss the question has given you the treatment then how to treat the loss clear come to the next one wages control 45000 total wages incurred out of that 12000 is the indirect wages which we have taken it to factory overheads then 3000 is the building construction which we have taken it to building construction account and the remaining 30000 balancing figure is your wip control account this is your direct wages this is nothing but the direct wages now this part is important for you will miss out on this important information you might miss out on right that is why institute is going to test you on such things be careful factory overheads control account sir stores ledger transferred from there stores ledger again uh, loss i think it was 1200 right or it was 1500 this might be a wrong figure let me check okay guys this is a typing error here right this figure is not 1200 this 1200 is for this building construction this 1500 is for this and this balance carry down right so this amount is 1500 basically this is a typing error here okay so factory overheads this is the loss that we have transferred this is the overheads that is uh, repair and maintenance then wages control uh, then cost ledger control account right building construction account and whatever is the balancing figure that will be wip account sir why wip account why wip account because from wip we are uh, because all the factory overheads will be absorbed into what wip only sir right under absorption is there we'll take it to costing p and l on the basis that this is due to the abnormal reasons right whatever is the balancing figure that will be absorbed into wip this this figure shows the absorption this figure shows the absorption of overheads clear royalty account very simple sir cost ledger control account on the other side you will take the wip control account because this amount we are going to uh, i can say recover from our customer so it has to be absorbed in the wip in the goods wip account balance brought down and balance carry down this is also given to you that means the balancing figure will be something else right you will post all the entries and the balancing figure will be finished goods control account why because from wip we are converting it into finished goods just remember the sequence i have told you in the lectures in the regular lectures i have told the sequence that how the sequence is made raw material is received then wip is prepared the order in which the accounts are to be prepared i have told you and i have told you the sequence that how this sequence has been built right there also i told you that first prepare the work in progress then finished goods control account why because from finished goods we are converting uh, from the sorry wip we are converting the goods into finished product after that finished goods account balance brought down is given to you wip that is the fresh production cost of goods sold it says refer the working note right cost of goods sold what is this cost of goods sold read the question carefully he says the cost of goods sold it is how it is to be calculated 80% of sales sales is given to you sales is given to you in the question so from there he says 20% is the profit margin 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ सेल्स ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ सेल्स इज माई प्रॉफिट मार्जिन दैट मीन्स माई कॉस्ट इज एटी परसेंट ऑफ सेल्स सो फ्रॉम देयर आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड द सी ओ जी एस एंड आई टेक सी ओ जी एस इन द फिनिश्ड गुड्स अकाउंट एंड द बैलेंस विल बी कैरेड फॉरवर्ड इन द सी ओ जी एस अकाउंट टू फिनिश्ड गुड्स टू कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स ट्रांसफर टू कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स अकाउंट दिन सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कॉस्ट लेजर कंट्रोल दैट इज द एक्सपेंस इनकर्ड एंड देन विल बी टेकन टू कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स अकाउंट then cost of sale cost of goods sold plus the selling and distribution expenses this combined becomes the cost of sales remember the cost sheet remember the cost sheet sir cost of goods sold plus selling and distribution expenses will become the cost of sales now here i lot of times i get a question i get a query from student that sir is cost of goods sold and cost of sales same is there any difference between cost of goods sold and the cost of sales or uh, they are the same very simple sir if there are selling and distribution expenses in that case cost of sales uh, will be cost of goods sold plus those expenses but if there are no selling and distribution expenses in that case my cost of goods sold will be equal to cost of sales see the small tips are very important in between the lectures right so you will gain only if you are watching the full lectures because these are the small tips that will really help you in the examination and these are the small practical tips right even if not in the examination you have to grow as a professional you need to know this practical knowledge the small things as a professional you should know because tomorrow as a chartered accountant if someone comes to you and ask you this question right can you say i don't know anything no you can't right so you should be this small tips are very important for you people now this whole cost will be transferred to costing pnl costing pnl sir this is the total cost here we are going to take the sales that are from the clc account or you can write it as by sales also directly right factory overheads control account uh, this uh, this is 2400 that was the under absorption and the clc will take the balancing figure that is profit to the clc that is 17100 clear and this building construction account sir uh, whatever was the expense incurred and finally when the building was complete the whole amount was transferred to the clc account that is the cost ledger control account clear now talking about the clc account balance brought down is given to you in the question right rest everything from the journal entries you are going to get costing p and l account costing p and l account here this is your sales basically right this is your sales sales to clc the building construction account and what you will get is balancing figure balance carried down clear prepare always prepare the clc account in the end right keep posting whatever the journal entries are keep posting side by side but close this account in the end that is what i mean to say right close this account in the end so this is how you have to prepare all the accounts see the small things are important this is a very well framed question now in the trial balance simply sir you will take the closing balances given given finished goods and clc account your trial will match any doubts now this is a very good question and you must do it if you are doing it now before the exams you must do this question must do this question i will say right this is a very well framed question of cost accounting systems and many a times we are getting a question on cost accounting system so this uh, this specific question i will say that you must do it right very very important must to do question right so you must do this question right guys so in the next lecture we'll take up the next question that is question number 7 i think it is on batch costing right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy keep sharing keep studying thank you so much